your attention to the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, the third chapter. And we're going to read verse 11. 1 Corinthians, the third chapter. And we're going to read verse 11. And I'll be reading from the New King James Version. 1 Corinthians, the third chapter. Verse 11. And we will find these words. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. No other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Standing on a firm foundation. Standing on a firm foundation is the subject that we're going to talk about this morning. Standing on a firm foundation. Standing on a firm foundation. 242 years is a long time to be standing as a church. Many churches have come and gone, but by the grace of God, this congregation is still standing more than two centuries later. There must be something about the foundation that has kept this congregation alive over the years. There must be something about the foundation that each generation builds upon the other. Despite the struggles, despite the confusion, despite the ebb and flow of membership, the imperfection of the people, the deaths that have occurred, and the weathering of many storms, this congregation must be on a firm foundation. It could not have stood this long had the foundation not been strong. I read what Benjamin May said, we today stand on the shoulders of our predecessors who have gone before us. We, as their successors, must catch the torch of freedom and liberty passed on to us by our ancestors. We cannot lose in this battle. Brothers and sisters, we cannot lose this battle because we are standing on a firm foundation. A foundation where Moses and the prophets stood. A foundation where Jesus and the apostles stood. A foundation that has stood the test of time. And as long as we stand on this foundation, nothing in all the world can prevail against us. This foundation is firm. Blood, sweat, tears, and faith were the raw materials used to build this foundation. Every inch moved. Every height reached. Every distance conquered. Every mountain lowered. Every valley lifted up. Every evil arrested. Every giant defeated. Every unjust law overturned. Every barrier removed. Every soul set free. Every group liberated. We're all standing on this firm foundation. Are y'all praying me? Those who have fought and those who are still fighting against wrong, evil, injustice, racism, militarism, and poverty are still standing on this foundation. You see, this foundation was laid long ago. Long before 1776. Did y'all hear what I said? 
It gave them the fortitude to go on when their bodies were tired and their spirits were weary. This speaks to the toughness of people. This speaks to the tenacity of people. This speaks to the testament of people and the divine connection to be able to endure the pain, endure the anguish, endure the hardship, endure the ugliness of life, and still stand First Baptist, we have been standing a long time, and we must continue to stand, having done all to stay, because the Lord promised never to leave us, never to leave us alone. The foundation we are standing on is a firm one, and this is why we sometimes sing, have firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord. Is laid for your faith in his excellent word. Yes. What more can he say than to you he has said? To you for refuge to Jesus have fled. Yes. Fear not, for I am with thee. Oh, be not dismayed, yes. for I am thou God, yes. and I still give thee aid. Yes. I'll strengthen thee, yes. I'll help thee, yes. and cause thee to stand. Yes. Upheld by my gracious, omnipotent hand. Yes. The soul Jesus has leave for repose. I will not, I will not desert to his foes. That so, though all hell shall endure to shake, I never, no, never, no, never forsake. I once read well, a person said a successful people are those who can lay a foundation with the bricks others have thrown at them.
And if you read on in that text, yeah. it said on this foundation, Probably. if you build it with silver or gold, yeah. or whatever else you build on this foundation, yeah. it's going to be tested in the fire. Yeah. All these programs and all the stuff we do, yeah. one day it's going to get tested. Yeah. If you're doing it for any other reason, yeah. other than the glory Word. And get in line with my spirit. I'll do even more for you. I'll make 
Yeah. 